Hello. Hello. Part two. After we learned what a wall jump is. Mm. Do you remember, Connor? We learned what a yeah. wall jump was. It was this thing. It was this ridiculous motion. All right. Um, did, wait, no. Did I have a skill point to use? I didn't. Okay. Okay, that's a zip point. <laughs> Oh. Stem canister. That'll prove useful. Yeah. That seems like a oh, yeah. That seems like a giant Stem thing. Canister. That feels better. For a tiny little canister. Yeah. Okay. Let's, I need to clear uh, my mind. Heal up. Okay. He is so weirdly floaty. Look at that. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> those, sometimes those animations are a little jarring. I do love that I can just force pull them and deal with them. Oh, fairly yeah. Quickly. That way's blocked. Come on. We'll come back later. Okay. Hello. This is terrifying. A little bit. These giant slabs of processed meat. Is that what that is? I can only assume. What's this? Hello? Oh, it's just a whole ass, okay. I never, huh. I never liked the, uh, the like light the rooms you had to use the lightsaber to see. It's in fallen order. It's definitely silly. Can I just throw? I know what I need to do. Can be like a rancor or something. Well, there's that electrical part there that I assume I have to connect. Was this just a force essence situation? This entire room for just that? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 
Oh, is there is there a, a crawlway here behind you? Uh, we'll find them. Be ready. I can think of what they're called. This these goofy little pathways they make in the, this game. Hold R one, press fuse and aim in to find. Ooh. I'm your ally. <laughs> Expected me to use it like that. Troopers everywhere. Gotta be careful, BD. Like, let's let's think for a mi minute. Like the whole <laughs> Jedi mind trick thing and this. Yeah. Effectively gaslighting an individual. Yeah. Is pretty fucked up. Can, can I drop? Well, that's silly, but okay. Um, it does seem like <clears throat> you're, you start off like with a few more abilities and you're, you're somewhat more capable than the version yeah. of Cal to start the previous game. So they, they obviously seem to throw, like these enemies aren't, the, what I would hope example I start I'm talking about. <clears throat> more powerful. I mean, they don't do the Metroid thing, Ooh. you know what I mean? What's over there? So, um... Yeah, like I love the Metro series, but that that reset always seems silly. But uh, it does seem like they're throwing a few more. Like, would I die if I jump in there? I don't know. It's not the right kind of wall, John. No, it doesn't have the right scratch on it. <laughs> uh... I do want to know, like, okay. Okay. Um, I can't. I maybe can't. You can't that. go through it. Okay. All so right. So you like activate it somehow. All right, game. Well, and it's like right. You don't have to like unlock that. Uh, you don't have to unlock that ability for. Um, is it BD one? Yeah, BD one. The slicing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Did I walk too far away and he didn't slice it? Or okay. I'm done with this place. Wow, okay. Well, he's a Jedi, though, so he gets to be ridiculous. He is a space wizard. Oh, I guess I could have just got, stayed on one wall. The you, got, time. you got Coruscant. <clears throat> I, I think you just start. You probably started it a little bit off center, so you weren't going to make yeah. the whole distance. <clears throat> Let's move. Okay, nothing I can do. How's this? How's this feel in comparison to the first one, though? He still, he still, he uh, he feels light still. Okay. Like that was one thing, but I don't think it feels as janky. I am willing to be wrong and proven wrong later. But yeah, currently he doesn't feel as janky. Well, that was a weird transition. They want me. They 
got me. Take the Inquisitor. Keep that other gunship off my back. On it! We gotta take her out. This man never thinks anything through. <laughs> I... I, uh... Like, look at this nonsense. Yeah, I also... Yeah, like, we've, we've said this before, and it's... You know, don't get me wrong, I, I enjoy some of this stuff, but, um... There's a certain degree to which, like... You gotta, you gotta kind of ask yourself. Like, yes, these are Imperial officers, it's like, fine, they can... Oh, okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Lightsabers don't have mass. Not, well, not that much mass. They probably do have mass, technically. Alright. Hello? Uh, excuse me? Alright. Okay, I'm like, hold on. I'm like, her bar is down. Uh, he had one of the things I'm noticing, and I don't, I don't feel it playing it because I'm not, I'm obviously Ooh. not playing the game. But like, he has a weird way of moving. But you're hurting bad inside, Kestis. I can sense it. When he does the dodges and stuff. Mm -hmm. For those fools you led to their deaths. Makes you so, so predictable. Which is like the. Hello? What is happening? Okay. Your death will make me a legend. Not entirely sure how you're supposed to deal with that one. I think it's just a time thing. Just yeah, because because yeah, eventually she stops the mind tricks. Hello? 
am out of heals, so we'll see how this goes. Jedi Knight, before you betrayed our order. <laughs> Your name was Masana Tide. Yeah, because we chopped off her leg and arm on the first, in the first one. Because it's not Star Wars yeah. unless we chop off a limb. It's time to set you free. Oh snap! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Those subtitles for that were kind of goofy, but okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's not kid ourselves. For what? Oh, it's just like, of course, I'm going to dual wield. Like, let's not kid ourselves here. Oh, yeah. It seemed to be a decent... I mean, obviously, you didn't use it during, like, a normal normal enemies or whatever mm -hmm. but um no i mean i i was i was saying it's like uh with the different jedi powers or whatever there's definitely and i'm sure someone has mentioned this and it's probably even had some media and it's not canon anymore or anything but all the novels that were made some of them probably exported just like the Sith and the Empire are really brutish in the way that they enact things, but like I don't know, <laughs> using mental manipulation, like literal mental manipulation, uh, doesn't seem like a good guy activity, right? Like that's a, str that's a strange moral. Uh, like right here, I can there. make I can gaslight them even longer, Connor. <laughs> Um, absolutely. We're gonna do improved stim. Yeah, probably for the best. I do like this uh, level up screen though. Oh, it's gorgeous. Like one one thing I would say for like it, it it's like it can be kind of unnecessary sometimes to do like overly elaborate screens like that. And then obviously, the game has a much more straightforward leveling system if that makes sense but like something like mm. elden ring would have done really well with like a like a, a more interesting uh Boat, bravo are you there like for all this goes into those games it surprises me that their leveling system is just like a series of menus if you know what i mean yeah it, there's like so much like interesting stuff going on that i'm surprised he doesn't do a little bit with the, those pause screens because it wouldn't be hard like it wouldn't be I do appreciate the so, takedowns that he has. Like, in the story of Star Wars, because you're more familiar with this than I am. Like, I'm familiar with, like, none of it, really. Uh, oh, hello? This, oh, God. Hello? No. He's just, like, magic runner. He can just run forever. I mean, with the Force, I guess it's okay. It's... <laughs> It's like the force is just a it's a frustrating like Deus Ex Machina because it's never it's like not defined well enough what its limitations are for it so it can do anything. I have the high ground. This is what I was talking about. Like these enemies didn't pop up until a bit later. And they're here pretty early. 
Oh, hello? No, no. Hello. Hey, BD1. That was a weird dismount. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. He has a lot of, like, really weird animations. Look at him. Odd when they're... Look at this. What? Just oh, the way he's displayed. The ragdolls of it all. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I was trying to say, too, is, like, at what point do the... You know, not that a, a clone is, like, necessarily less of a person or whatever, but, like... When I'm, I'm not ready the, to get when into are the stormtroopers discussion? Well, when are they like no longer clones? Because they, they eventually they don't have the clone army to the same extent. Um, I presume it's between prequel and original trilogy because the clones were all based off a of Django Fett. Yeah. So I, I'm sure they. they I mean, I, I well, think they. Yeah. I think they developed. I think they developed like millions of them. So like. They probably lasted quite a while, and you probably so, still have some of yeah. these stormtroopers running around as clones. But you know what I mean? It's... Yeah. So <clears throat> there's the Clone Wars uh, series that like is during that, and there's obviously still clones. Yeah. So my best guess is, is between <sighs> probably I'll end sure. of episode three, between episode four. Yeah. Gaps. Twins. I, sh I should have. They know what they signed up for. We need to get topside and transmit that intel to Saul Guerrero. That's how we honor the fallen. We always knew what we signed up for. You're right. Yeah. BD, call the ships. But, um, I, I, I'm basically just like, Not the village it's... Service I was hoping for. Bravo. You got Overwatch? I'm on it. All right. I'll draw the fire. You hit them when they aren't looking. Let's get some payback. See you in the next scrapper. Okay, so like, my jetpack homie has just basically two pistols, or at best revolvers. Mm -hmm. While our new homie has an actual rifle. Does it matter in this universe, actually, now that I think about it? Uh, aiming might be easier with the rifle, but like... They're little laser pellets, like, it shouldn't No, I know, but you're, you're, you're still probably going to have an easier time in with this. crosshairs. Oh, absolutely, but like... Scope. Like, like the your argument... The power of the... Yeah, or like your argument with like lightsabers don't have mass. Okay, They're go. laser pellets. Mm. Other than rate of fire, like yeah. what benefit... Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I that obviously I walked that back a little bit because there is a certain amount of pedantry where you could argue about it having mass oh, or not, but it's probably not going to allow someone to spin it like a helicopter and slow their descent. It doesn't have mass like that. Technically, photons have mass. Okay. What's happening? You're blocking my view, homie. I feel like it's just such an aggressive stance. I forgot I can do that. There we go. No, there we go. So, yeah, what I was what I was what I was getting at is like the, you know, leaving aside whether or not uh, it's like 
the humanity of clones or whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's like there, a lot of them aren't even clones at a certain point. Yeah. And, no, so sometimes, like... and sometimes the Sith, sometimes the Sith and the Empire, like, just make their, you know, like, arguments about, like, how many people get killed or whatever. And it's like, okay, it's about more than that. <laughs> that's the all we're talking about. Like, mm-hmm. that's not, that's, like, not a good metric. Oh, cause... I'm like, where? Because, yeah, you are ki- you're, you're killing a bunch of people. So, like, that's all your, that's all the morality is. It's like, <clears throat> yeah, because in I mean, definitely by nice. what's called uh, Force Awakens, they start like colonizing people and just ready <laughs> training oh, the children into stormtroopers. Yeah. Okay, to Regan. Got the other on the Mantis. When things cool off, come and find me. We'll settle up. Yeah. Sure, I can trust you. You saw the intel. A lot more work to be done. Looks like I made the cut, huh, BD? <laughs> Boat? May the force be with you. You're a great fighter, Cal. Let's see how well you fly. Get your shit force out of here. I want a BD Lego set. Whatever so it bad. is, I'll have to wait until we get someplace safe. Okay. So the one thing, the Transformers movies are not great. Let's let's get that out of the way, right? But I do appreciate how much detail there is in like. The uh, under maintenance. transformations there are. Sure. I take the risk. We've already overstayed our. I mean, I've. Isn't there? Aren't they coming out with like a Beast Wars one? Yeah. And I, mm. I grew up on watching Beast Wars. So I'm like, I fucks with it's this. It's so, it's so bad if you go watch it now. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's so bad. Like. Because, like, it's, it's not like they use traditional, like, animation. That was, like, one of the first, like, CG shows. Oh, yeah. It was, like, cutting edge of, like, bleeding edge of animation techniques. And what it means is you had a lot of, you had a lot of episodes with, like, environments that were completely barren, but, like, mm-hmm. highly animated uh, Transformers. Mm-hmm. What are they flying through here? I have no clue. <laughs> like, this doesn't completely make sense. What is this? I guess it's an access tunnel? I guess so. But... And, like, the ship design has always been absurd. Sure, I, I, I'm not hung up as much on that. As no, like, no, I'm absolutely just confused. Not, like, like, where are they flying through? What, what, what purpose does this architecture serve? Because I can't tell what it's doing. It, it's an access tunnel, but like, it's very long. So, like, is this an access tunnel? Is like the rest of Coruscant inha- uninhabitable and we can't fly through there? Or, like, is this going into like the Undercity? Yeah, he wasn't supposed to live. We just had to have another dramatic scene of him getting killed again. Okay, so yeah, it's like an access to, to like the Undercity. Okay, so that's where you were. You were in like, yeah. that some hits Undercity back sort of thing. The ghetto of Coruscant. Transmit the intel. Yeah. You see, even in space, we gentrify. Well, yeah. <laughs> But more than that. <laughs> yeah. Sent it. Let's hope this information does some good. We did it. Look how goober he looks in that picture. I mean, isn't that just the way he looks? It's the haircut. Who does this guy's voice again? Cal? Yeah. 
He's from Shameless. I've never watched Shameless. Oh, that's why I didn't know. I mean, and, yeah, I don't know what else. I don't know what else he's done. I mean, I, he he was in that one like Gotham PD show. He played, he played like Joker, was, I think. He was in The Giver, apparently. Which wait, that's why I didn't actually see. He, he played uh, Asher. And I have seen only a little of what it has to offer. It was a pretty mediocre movie. But one day. Oh, I didn't see it. I kind of knew it was going to be rough. Marin, my bae. I have learned to my sleeping sisters. Space witches. You were not invited. You know, it's not often I break out an old family recipe like this. Well, what do you think? <laughs> Marin. And then I think the lady who plays Sarah is like SNL alumni. That's cute. Cameron Moynihan. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah, I found it. I looked it up. And then Deborah Wilson plays Seer. Gyro's failing. We need that. Any ports nearby that won't turn us in for a reward? Honestly? Yeah. Mad TV, I'm sorry. Not... Not a uh, SNL. That's why I didn't recognize. It's been a long time since I've seen anything with Mad TV. Same. Settled down. Uh, Out in the middle of nowhere. Could be a good place to lay low. If anyone knows how to fix up the mantis, it's Grease Dritus. Think we can make it? So Grease just left his sh entire ship to you? We should tidy up before we visit Grease. You know how he is about mess. Oh. What? Oh, it's like a skin? Okay. Sounds like they expanded a lot of the customization stuff in this one, which like, for reasons, if it feels, I, I don't care for. It. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, sure. Uh, I mean, I, I, fair enough. But like, it, it 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 was like it felt like just really stupid before. Like, it felt like very pointless. But like, if it's at least like somewhat involved, and some someone's gonna get something out of it, I I just don't. I don't know. Uh, ultimate Far Cry fan cast. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna mace Windu this shit. Every color possible. ready to go we're almost there let's head up to the cockpit this stuff. haven't used these since the scrapyard on Braca. Braca gave them to me 
I was trying to see if there's a show, if there's anything I've seen that had this guy in it. Any what? If there's any show, any anything that this guy's been in that I have watched. One thing. I am doubtful. Oh, two things, technically, because he's in Malcolm in the Middle, apparently. Not as a main character, but and also not as a main character. He was in Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. We're so good. Dude, like, that show slapped. Throwback. What is that? Hello? And just this chaos with vehicles. I'm completely fried. We won't be flying again without repairs. Okay. This is us. This must be the outpost. I guess we finally get to see Grace's cantina. Okay. Come on. What planet are we on? It's so calm. Bravo, what I like this. Kobo. Okay. Come on, buddy. Wrong way to go. Wrong where? We're on Kobo? Oh, okay. His run is weird. Like, not okay. poorly animated, just like it's a weird way to run. The other side of all this. I, I wouldn't say anything is poorly animated. It just looks. It has like an uncanny quality to some of it. Uh, we have giant. The thing. Oh, you're gonna. That you is have to place a big on it. We have our target. Now let's reach it. Is it just an arbitrary point in the distance, or is it actually somewhere you need to go? I think they're just showing this as like a here's how you place waypoints on the map situation. Sure. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. I'm like, is there a way I don't jump down to my death? Let's single side save this for now. Can I tell you that I legit had, like, some of those pressure switches with, like, not be obvious in the first game? So Grease has the parts we need. I was gonna ask, do you think there exists pressure switches like that in the our our real world? Uh, you could make them. It's you can make them, sure. But I'm like, I'm wondering, like, do we have an actual? Uh, some, not like elevators like that, but some like automatic doors. In fact, I think that was like the first way that automatic doors were done was through pressure switches. Um, mm -hmm. which like, I'll, I'll be honest, like that's one of the ways that I'm a little bit, I don't really know the right word for it. It's not like. Like black pedal or anything, but it's a similar concept to like um, 
being convinced that there are certain innovations that are basically not innovations they're just doing something differently and we decide it's cool because it's new and the technology is different but it's like pressure switches work fine <laughs> mm. for that application yeah but we're like now we can sense you with a light oh. with a laser light thing and it's uh, innovation rusted like everything else around here Was there something? Oh, I figured you can scan enemies. What's it do for you? Is it just as part of an encyclopedia, or yeah, does it have an actual purpose? Okay. I'm pretty sure it's just for encyclopedia collection uh, collection reasons. Okay, came through that way, so I'm gonna go. No, I came that way. So let's explore it this way. Okay, that's a shortcut. I'll unlock late. Maybe now. What's up here? Who are you? Uh, Lucky you just have this zip line now. Did you I'm unlock that in this one, or is that no, something that you acquired is, in between? This is new for this game. Okay. Okay, let's wall run over here. Oh, that is okay. And they, <clears throat> uh, red means blocked. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, so they started moving towards these kinds of droids. I'm looking. Yeah. Did those... Were those droids in the... Were those later in the game? Because I didn't get that far. In order. I don't remember them showing up in the first game. Here. At all, mm. honestly. Separatists, I remember. Bedlam Raiders. What has Grease gotten himself into? Oh, Grease. Yeah, the. This is dumb. Okay, continue. Yeah, it's largely pointless. These segments. So I have... Also, like I don't know the Star Wars world. I'm like, you don't have flashlights. Um. You're telling me BD1 can't just stay on my shoulder too. and project a fucking light. That too. It's like you was telling me. Uh, just look at that thing. Pretty sure the game does, does look live. really nice. Yeah. Also, you're probably benefiting from. You probably got like the day one patch stuff because like some things feel a little bit weird to look at, but I don't. You haven't had like significant problems, have you? No. There have been some frame dropping in some of the cutscenes. Yeah. Is that a giant crater? Wow. I was thinking it must be separatists because they're it's because it's the battle droids. Oh, God, how much yeah. Talk. But I don't know if they're gonna do enough. Like I, don't, I was always frustrated with the mainline stories because obviously like they're especially the prequels were like That'll largely for time. kids. Like they were. Not just for kids, but like it, was a, it was a way of bringing in an additional audience for a 30 year old franchise, right? Yeah. 20 year old, I guess, technically. It wasn't quite 30 years old. At the that. time, it's more 20, yeah. Uh... Yeah, so, and now, you know, now a little over 40, right? So. Um, uh, they always just felt like. Ooh, I like that. The story of the Separatists just felt like really simplistic in the masters. original shows, original movies. 
Yeah. And like, I don't know. They had such like they had like such reasonable grievances, and then I was even I would have even preferred I liked the I would have liked the idea of like a Sith or a Jedi or someone like like hey these guys have a point. <laughs> Not turning into the Empire or whatever, but like that doesn't sound good. Okay, so they explode. Good to know. Okay, I'm like... okay, I can tell what I'm supposed to do, but how do I do it? It was one of those like I wasn't close enough for them to register that I'm I know uh, what to do. We do love a shortcut. Who is this little Hello? Stuck ship, huh? Tell me about it. Wish we could help. But we can. Or I will. Actually, can I? Oh. It's telling me no right now. Short beard. <laughs> Hold on. Don't you already have a short beard? No, I have stubble, Connor. Sure. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, I see what it's saying. I could have some stubble, but I'm technically shaven. Or I. No, thank you. We're gonna. Hmm. What do you think, Connor? Full beard? Or do we he like does look. A, he he does look a little less ridiculous with with a little more facial hair. Okay, let's agree. No, absolutely not. No. I think we're gonna stick with the stubble. Until you get a better one. There's probably a better one. Is there? Will there be? <clears throat> okay. Well, there might be like a there might be like a mountain man survivalist period, which is better. Kind of also fits the story a little bit. You know, I guess technically you probably still have access to like so hygiene supplies in your ships, but you are kind of stranded here. Let's take our bets. Who is the survivor that this game is referring to? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know how the last game ended, so like, to be honest with you. I was kind of thinking like it might be just like the... Oh, well, there you go. Um, so, I mean, I guess the recap for you would be... They're bad raiders. I swear to all that's holy if I end up at the meditation. Um... I think you might be yeah, at the meditation site. So they find the holocron eventually. Uh, but you did unlock a shortcut, though, didn't you? I did. But still. <laughs> um, they found the holocron that, you know had all this force sensitive individuals and Cal decided to destroy it. The basic idea being like, if they shared this holocron, that would just be effectively putting a target on all of their backs. And you know, since he was hiding because of order 66, which I actually really appreciate this ending. Um, I know some, some people may not have preferred it, but, um, I like that they decided, you know, we're definitely getting closer. And it makes sense, like, that he would choose to not put that on those children. Okay, see, now, what I don't agree with there is, is I should not be locked into. 
the animation. You were, you were animation locked and you got hit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, I guess that makes sense. Never mind. I don't appreciate it still. So. I don't know. That does kind of get into a. Uh, now, I don't killers. know if this game does it, and I don't know. You might have been too far into it for it to work anyway. But having like a man, uh, animation. Uh, animation break or whatever the hell you call it. I do appreciate the fast travel between meditation points. That was not a thing. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, it indicates, like, a slightly more exploration-based. Yeah. Not exploration-based. I don't want to do that by exploration, but, yeah. I think you did have to retread quite a lot, though. Yeah, which I don't mind backtracking, as long as it's meaningful backtracking. Cause like, what was it? Um, I think like Devil May Cry four or five didn't do backtracking well. Four, it was four. Cause it was like level based. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I guess this is happening. Fair. to kill it oh well i use my skill points already so that's actually never mind we should be good okay i'm gonna beat him up and then i think we're gonna call it Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna explore this, then I'll save. You might. There we go. Like it dragged its prey back here and... What's this? Oh, it's a force thing. Oh, it's a health thing. I ain't mad at that. Oh. Okay. Hot take. Probably not that hot of a take. I appreciate when, if I find something, it's not like, oh, you found one of three needed to upgrade your health. No, that's bullshit. Yeah. I mean, if it's design, the design of the game, I guess, because you'd have to like balance it differently depending on what you do. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Okay. Next time, we're gonna beat that that big chungus. Next time. Do you have to fight him? I fucking hope not, but we'll see. I, I hope I get to ride him. That's my hope. Mm. All right. We'll see you all next time. Bye. <sighs>